Hi, this is Miles, one of the creators of the Photography Business Formula website. I wanted to create this short video to talk to you about what exactly the Photography Business Formula is. Now, it's nothing new. It's based on sound business practices that Melanie and I have used throughout the years to build successful businesses. And we've used the same principles to help other businesses, large and small, become successful. These concepts, these action steps, these stages, are things that many photographers either don't know or they know them but don't follow them. The formula is not an overnight fix or some kind of magic bullet system that is going to make your photography business an utter success overnight. It takes a lot of work. What I want to do is go over it so you know what you should accomplish in a step-by-step -step fashion so you can become a successful photographer and run your own profitable business like other people we've worked with in the past as well. The photography business formula is made up of six phases or stages and the content on this website will relate to one or more of these stages. The first stage is developing the proper photography business mindset. Not all photographers are business people, so it's important to learn the proper way to plan, to goal set, and the proper way to think like an entrepreneur so that you can motivate yourself to continue to grow your business. The second stage is choosing your niche and establishing your target market. As you already know, there are many different types of photography, different niches. It's important to determine your niche or niches and really dial down because the niche you choose will dictate many different factors such as how much money you'll make, the difficulty in carrying out these photo assignments, and the marketing strategies and techniques you use to get more clients, among many other things. You do not want to be one of these lost photographers who tries to do and be everything in photography. There's just too many niches and too many factors and variables to deal with. So you want to dial down, choose the most appropriate niche for you and your business. You also want to think about your ideal client for three reasons. First, you want to choose clients or the target market that you know you can do a really good job for. You want to get future referrals and return business. So thinking about your target market and choosing your target wisely will help you grow your business. Secondly, you want to make sure that you are working with people you enjoy being around and you enjoy doing work for. The last thing you want to do is work for somebody on a photo assignment where you really rather be somewhere else. Lastly, dialing down on your target market will help you get more business. You'll know how to narrow down your marketing so that you are sending out messages and advertising to the appropriate types of clients, the clients that you will be able to attract and pull in to get more business. The third stage is building your core identity. And this deals with branding and differentiating yourself from other photographers. Now this is common sense. Everyone wants to be different from their competition. But photographers, they either do not do this or they do not do it well. And it's important that you spend time to brand and differentiate yourself from other photographers because you want to stand out as a leader and authority in your market for your photography niche. When people are looking for photos in your particular niche, you want them to go to you. You want them to know you and reach out to contact you. Once you've gone through the first three stages, you move into the fourth stage, which is creating your photography services, packages, and pricing. Once you've reached the fourth stage, you already have a pretty good foundation and you most likely already have some clients. As you begin to grow more, you want to make sure that anyone who reaches out to contact you or you come in touch with, you want to make sure that you have irresistible offers, offers that they cannot pass up. So you want to spend time thinking about enticing services for potential clients, packages that really are of value to your clients, and pricing that is very competitive for what you're offering. Now you do not necessarily have to be the lowest in cost when it comes to the competition, but you need to establish that you have the greatest value. Again, you want to develop irresistible offers. The fifth stage deals with planning and implementing proven photography marketing strategies and techniques. This is arguably the most important stage 
out of the entire photography business formula. And it deals with taking the marketing of yourself, or the branding and differentiation to the next level and also deals with all other realms of marketing. Internet marketing, referral marketing, word of mouth marketing, everything. And this is important because this is where you begin to pull in more and more clients. The sixth and last stage is about taking action, implementing the steps of the formula and following up. As I mentioned earlier, not all photographers are business people. And this may seem simple, but it isn't for a lot of photographers. If you want to have a successful business, you need to mind your business. You need to take action. And this stage is one of the reasons why some photographers make it while others do not. It's important to motivate yourself, continually move forward, take action, follow the steps and follow through. Doing so will lead to a successful photography business. Those are the six stages that make up the photography business formula. Again, they are developing the proper photography business mindset, choosing your niche and establishing your target market, building your core identity, creating your photography services, packages, and pricing, planning and implementing proven marketing strategies, and taking action. Successfully working your way through each stage, you can rest assured that you're going to have a successful photography business before you know it.